of the blind, so we do a lot of vision projects. We work with the Salvation Army to help people who are in need get their eyes corrected, get glasses so they can go to work and do normal functions and so forth. And as you can see from the from the video here, we support a lot of things around the, the community, uh, including Cedar Bluff Camp, the Salvation Army, uh, what am I missing, Bill? There's a bunch more. Got them all on. Yeah, I don't know that I have all of them. Yeah. Uh, we try to uh, we try to put that motto into action. We serve. Uh, we have a, a booth that oh well, the Air Heritage Museum is one thing that we support. Uh, the Brown Mansion. Uh, we uh, we have a. a concession booth at the fair each year where we sell funnel cakes and, and nachos and hot dogs and broths and, and drinks. That's our, our biggest fundraiser. And then every year, twice a year in the fall and in the spring, we have a pancake feed. And uh, all of these funds are used to do various service projects to, to help young people, to help uh, elderly, to help just to help people. I guess I can't, did he, am I leaving out anything, Bill? Uh, no, that's, that's uh, it, we're, we're small, but we're still active. And we meet here on the second and fourth Thursdays at 6.30 a.m. Breakfast is provided. Uh, we meet upstairs. Uh, I can't tout the breakfast, but I've not heard any complaints. So uh, we, would, we would welcome anyone to come. And if you can't make it right at 6.30, don't worry about being tardy. If you come in at 6.45, we're not going to turn you away. It might not be food. <laughs> well, recently, we haven't had any problem that way either. We've had plenty for, for people that come. Uh, and I think that pretty well covered it. Anybody have any questions? Did you say second or third, Thursday or Tuesday? Thursday. Thursday, okay, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, the Coffeyville Lions <laughs> Club, which meets at noon, meets on the first and third Tuesdays. And, and they, they work in conjunction with us. For example, out at the fair, uh, they provided some manpower to help us uh, with the booth, and, and we share the proceeds with them. And I think they have a golf tournament coming up, which is which is a pretty good thing. Uh, creates a lot of interest, and it's it's a it's a fun time and a good good fundraiser for them. But we would encourage you to visit the the uh, Golf Defender Museum, the Brown Mansion, <laughs> the Air Heritage Museum. The Air Heritage Museum doesn't cost anything. Yeah. It's uh, and. Uh, in one of these pictures here, it shows a, a picture inside of it, and it is, it's been fixed up nice, and uh, hopefully it's going to be fixed up even nicer. So there's actually two Lions Clubs in Coffeyville? Yes. Uh, the original Coffeyville Lions Club, which is now the, the new Lions Club, uh, was started actually in 1921, so their 100th anniversary is this year. Uh, the Daylight Defenders was started in 1984, uh, largely due to the efforts of uh, the late Bill Ketterman, and I think the Reverend Ted Inman was involved in that too. I know that he was one of the charter members, and uh, we've been going ever since. No questions. I'm going to sit down and let somebody else talk. <laughs>